so you don't like this huge gap under the Samsung keyboard and wish to minimize it as much as possible. Let me show you how. Firstly, you will need to hide the voice input button and the hide keyboard button. Then, you will need to hide the gesture hint. Doing so will bring down the keyboard as low as possible. Let's go to settings. General management. Keyboard list and default. Here, you can turn off keyboard button on navigation bar and show button to hide keyboard. Yes, you have now removed the voice input on the left and the hide keyboard button on the right. Please note that if you're a frequent voice input user, removing voice input button on the left might not be a good idea for you. If you insist on doing so, make sure you enable the space bar to activate the voice input. Next, we will need to remove the gesture hint to bring down the keyboard as low as possible. Go to Settings. Display. Navigation bar. More options. And turn off the gestures hint option. If you can't see the gesture hint option here, you can check out the video on how to get the gesture hint option on your Galaxy S24. Now, let's take a look at the keyboard. Yes, as you can see, the gap under the keyboard is very minimal now. That's it for this video. I hope it helps.